Good morning, my dear. In the last lecture, we started the new form, that is database management. So, the database is in two languages. First one is the data definition. It is basically the database from the database. It is the data definition language, the data definition was accepted. Specify the database scheme means defining some kind, then defining some kind, and the data manipulation language that is the DMO to explain the database queries and update figures along with operation. So, in fact, the data definition and data manipulation languages are more complicated than instead. They simply form part of a single database language, such as this one, structured query language. So in this point, see here, they give an example, SQL language, structured query language. So it comes under the data manipulation language. Okay? When we are doing the manipulation, it means updating. Otherwise, you can say that when we are going to change some data, with some of the instructions, that type of language is called as a data manipulation language. After that, we learn the data values stored in the database must satisfy a certain consistency. So, we already seen type of function, domain function, recognition integrity, authorization, and the so what is the domain function? So the domain of possible values must be associated with every attribute. So for example, integrity type, character type, base type. So second one is the recognition integrity. Issues that a value that appears in one rotation for a given set of attributes also appears for a set of attributes in another. So here we are considering the two tables. So, see, two tables are there, one for the college information and the second one is the department. So, consider one attribute, otherwise one component, which are common in the world, is the department in the age. So, in the college they have to consider, department may have to consider the attribute. And, department table itself shows the name of department as a system. So, this is the recognition integrity. After that, authorization. Here, authorization means we, we are giving authority for accessing data. Okay? For the uh, you know, operating system subject, we already saw what are the authorization rules. In which type of we are giving authorization? Read authorization means for a person can read the data, but he or she is not able to modify that data. Second one is the insert authorization. That is, insertion is possible, but not modification. See, it will be reading, but not modification. Insert authorization means we can do the insertion. We, we are able to add some data. But here also, we cannot do any updation. Then third one is the update authorization, which allows the modification but not deletion of data. So here, what is the difference between insert and update? In update authorization, we are, we are going to allow the modification process, but not the existing data. That is, but not the deletion of data. The last one is the delete authorization, so it, which allows the deletion of data or the deletion of existing data from a particular file. So these are the different types of access we are giving to the user. And last is the assertion. So assertion is combined for any condition that the database must always satisfy. So the domain constraint and residential integrity constraints are the special forms of the assertion. For example, here 
Every department must have at least five courses. Offer every study. Must be expressed by a teacher. Since an assertion is created, the system tests it for validity. If the assertion is valid, then any future modification of the database is So here, assertion may be here, but database is there. Then we are putting some condition. So, that time assertion is worth up. So, if you write assertion is valid, then only the future modification to allow the service to be If it does not, then the assertion will be valid. So, assertion is not valid. Then the condition is not going to be They are started in the language. Then we will update the language. In that, update the language. Modification but not deletion. Deleted activation means simply we are able to delete that process. So, the DDS just take any of the graph language. So, the data is Okay, so in that table, when 
And if you fail in that particular table, in that table, you need to put zero to constant in some condition. Assertion is what we are going to do. So, the statement defines the departing table. This is the next table. See here. Create table mark. Create means and from the create table and here what we are doing we are creating the table database we are creating database is for row and column selection of row and column which contains some particular data related with each other so here we are preparing one table from database what is the database name? Depart. Department You are understanding here. We are simply writing the programming language. Programming language we are writing this one. When we are running this program, we are going to the output. Above video statement creates the department table with the three columns. Here we are creating one table. So after running this code, we are going to run the program and compile it after that. We are running. So that means we are showing the position. Whatever the position is published, we are already wrote in the. We are already ready. So we do execution of the above video script creates the department table. Department table. So here department table. So with the three columns. Which columns are there? Department name, building, and last one is the department. Each of which has a specific data data type associated with this. So department name attribute, building, and third is the budget. The three columns the result is showing the table of the column. Okay. So, see here, once again they give the definition. Simply clarify, clarify your concept. So, DDL or the data definition language actually consists of the SQL command that can be used to define the database. That we are giving the table. For table we are giving the input and in the table format, the database format, in the table we are showing the table. So we are using the table for the table. Okay? It simply deals with the descriptions of the database schema and it is used to create and modify the structure of the database objects in the table. So they give us some examples of the DDL command. First one is the create. Create what that word shows. Create the data. We are creating something. So see here. Create is used to create the database or its objects. Like table, index, function, loop, source pages and read. So the create we want to use or create command is to create the database. Okay. Second one is the draw. Draw function is the draw. So we need the object from the alter. Alter is used to alter the structure of the table. One thing is used to remove all the records in the table, including all the cases allocated for the record of the table. Then commit. Commit is used to add the comments to the data dictionary. Last one is the rename. It is used to rename an object existing in the data. So see here one by one again. 
what is the meaning of create function or create command? Simply here we are creating two data that we have not yet added. In that we are creating two more bodies. Request. 
for getting that data, for retrieving that information from the data. Okay, we are putting some statement. Okay, that statement is returning or executing. After that, we are getting the information from the data. So simply, query is a statement requesting the retrieval of See here, declarative DMLs are usually easier to learn and use than a procedural DML. However, since a user does not have to specify how to get the data, the database system has to figure out an efficient way of accessing data. Then, same here, already we saw the query is a statement requesting the retrieval of information. The portion of a DML that involves the information retrieval is called a query line. Simply a query is a statement for getting the information. The portion of the particular DML that involves the information retrieval is called as a query line. Okay, query is a statement. And whatever we are putting in that statement, combiningly we are called as a query language. So it is common practice to do the term query language and data manipulation language query language is also called as DM high DM is data manipulation language which is manipulation so for higher on What they give us, what we want, names of all instructors which are present in the department. So select instructor name, what we want, 
names of all instructors which are present in the history department. For that, DNA series is here. SQ2. Select instructor name. From there, instructor table. So, instructor table consists of instructor detail. Name, age, address, or details, salary, whatever it may or subject. So, what we want? Instructor name. So, first sentence is called select instructor name from instructor. From instructor name. What we are going to find out? Select instructor name. Instructor name to we are going to select from that instructor name. Where instructor dot department name is equal to history. So instructor now working in the system department. That data will be drawn from the whole data. So after executing that query, the table we are going to show us the instructor name with only history department. Understanding? So the query specifies that. Those rows from the table in the department name is a history that must be retired. And the name attribute of this row must be displayed. More specifically, the result of executing this query is a table with a single column. See here, so many departments are 100. Uh, so hundred instructors' names are there in the table. So then what is going to happen? Some are having with history department, some are having with geography department, some with English, some with math, whatever it is. So what we want? Instructor names which are having or which are working in the history. So what that query shows us? Only one column. What that column shows? At the upper side that shows history department. And again, whatever column they are going to show us, that is the instructor name. It's about 100 instructor names are there. Out of that 40 is having the history department. Then, the name of the we are getting the instructor name at the 40 rows. 40 rows we are getting because why the 40 instructors having a department name history. Okay, so the label name and state of rows, each of which contains the name of an instructor whose department name is history. Okay, see here DDL versus BMS. Basic differences I gave here. Stands for DDL stands for data definition language, DML stands for data manipulation language, usage severe. DDL statements are used to create the database, schema, constraints, users, tables, etc. See here, DDL statements are used to create only basic differences there, create. And see here, DML statements are used to insert, update, and delete. So, in a DDL, it is not for users for insertion, deletion, and updation. So, the classification, DDL has no further classification, but DNA is further classified into two types. First one is the procedural, and second one is the non procedural. The commands, some examples are given create, drop, rename, and alter. So, all these commands are under DDL. Only defining level and DML means insert, update, and delete. Okay, so these are the basic differences between DDL and DML. So the next part we will see in the next session.